let's see. How do these horses look? Do they look, um, like my old friend? Oh god, was that horse doing that noise, or...? Oh god, I'm going inside. <laughs> we might, uh, have a test for our skill here. <laughs> Shatter, guess what? I paid off the debt. Any luck with Sapphire? You're no longer in debt with Sapphire. By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it. Is he about to give me a fucking dragon me, claw? I don't need it anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> Man, after after Iverstead, I just expect any little favor that I do. Whoa, shit, Until oh my god. Time. Is this the Red Ruby Super Sapphire Ultimate 500 Dragon Claw? What? Limited That's edition? When we had last left, the prisoner bound by prophecy, they were still en route to none other than Riften, of course. But along the way, they yet again encountered more strange stuff. From a bizarre bard who got robbed by them, and an orc stronghold in need of a helping hand, which they also agreed to help out with. <laughs> <laughs> and so they continued just a little bit further, and finally at long last arrived at the gates of Riften, where they were greeted by some guards who wanted to try to extort them for a little bit of an entry fee. It was messed up, but thankfully the prisoner was able to say, Hey! Stop, you butthole! And they did! <laughs> and so the prisoner waltzed right into the town, only to be greeted by a few denizens who were quite the opposite. One... Uh, who hated the Thieves' Guild, and another just a straight-up member of the Thieves' Guild. And further deeper into the city, it was revealed just how deep the Thieves' Guild was ingrained within the city of Riften, as the prisoner was asked to, in broad daylight, steal and plant a ring on someone else in the marketplace by Brynjolf of the Thieves' Guild itself. He was, he was a member of the Thieves' Guild, it was him! <laughs> <laughs> and so the prisoner was like, whoa, okay, and did it. <laughs> and we were, we're now here. We now wait inside of Riften, ready to explore this strange city. A city ruled by the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> this is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Bum, bum, bum. Look at this. Look at this light beaming in here. My God, it looks nice, doesn't it? Holy wackadoo. All right. Now, of course, I said I would tend to business in between videos. And if you're unfamiliar with that, we do this in a lot of games. If you're new to all this business, I basically just go around to vendors that we have been at before. Because, of course, there is the, probably in this game, pretty decent chance that if we go to a vendor we have not seen yet, there'll be some sort of introduction or even quest that we'll retrieve ahead of time. But you can see we sold off a fair bit of things. We've got a fair bit of money. I got even a level. I got a few levels actually from all the crafting and stuff that I did. I even went back to Whiterun via carriage, which is why I'm so sleepy right now, because you do not rest during that carriage ride. That would be great, but you do not. Sold off a bunch of shit that Sven is carrying around. Bought some new equipment, enchanted our own. Let's see. I did some basic ass enchants because we don't have like such a great repertoire yet of enchants and all that but also bought a few things like this steel boots of dwindling frost i feel like that will be very very useful to have during dragon fights because half of the dragons are relatively easy to kill and the other half are a pain in the butt <laughs> hopefully there are no lightning dragons i don't believe that there are right and also enchanted this hat this these gloves as well I've got this shield, 15% magicka resistance. I think I bought this shield. I did not make it. And enchanted this amulet for shock resistance. You know, why not? We don't have... I don't yet have frost resist, right? Or even generic magicka resist. Because I did buy this and I was afraid, eh, if I disenchant it, I may not be able to make a 15% magicka resist. At least not yet. Anyway, also have... No, we didn't get any new weapons or anything. We still got the same shit there. Used up most of our reagents and all that. All of our ore, all that good stuff. We're pretty well off. Now, like I said, I did also pick up levels. Let's see, I've got two levels, I believe, in the bank. 
And I spent one because I had to rest. And what did I pick up? I got plus HP. And I think we'll keep getting some more HP. That way we have sort of like a a barrier to death. <laughs> right? We sort of cover our, our asses here. And I picked up over here, alchemy. See, I think it's called benefactor. Is that it? Yeah, up here. Benefactor. Potions you mix and beneficial effects have an additional 25% greater magnitude. Good stuff. Good stuff. Did a whole lot of crafting. Got all that stuff going in a major damn way. Let's talk to Drifa here because she's been hanging out here and we just never talked to her at all. And she has never actually said anything to us either. She just kind of gives us a stern, suspicious look. And she's not wrong to. <laughs> My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Huh. And this is, yeah, weird. Okay, sure. She doesn't actually have anything interesting to say. Just her one bit of dialogue. Okay, we need to rent a room real quick at the inn. And I was debating to go in here, and in fact I did, but then people started talking and I just immediately quick-loaded. Right, I don't want to... People of Riften. There we go. Heed my words. What is the return this of the dragons say? is not mere coincidence. This is one oh, hey. of the signs. The yeah, it's signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kain. No, no, Marimo. We talked about this. Talon? Kirava, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marimo. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. Huh. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. <laughs> I do like that line. Very interesting, though, that he sees it as My like a divine punishment. Is unmatched. Right. Blessings of Mara upon you. you. I want to know more about the Temple of Mara. Do you accept charity? Can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? I want to know more about the temple. Tell me more. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Okay. What does Mara exactly have against drinking, though? Still don't have hmm. this year to get out I could have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Nope, not really. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. And filled with a person sin, who's apparently. looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Okay. I'll buy an amulet of Mara, 200 Quatlus. Do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. Wow, look, everyone's we pouring in here. Can get. Uh, I'll donate some other time. Eh, it's just five gold, why not? Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Okay, sure. Can you tell me about Mara's beliefs? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times, but you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. All right. Well, what about these people? The people in here just love getting fucked up on booze. <laughs> May you return to her benevolence and safety. All right. Hey, man. What is it with you and all these questions? Sorry. Very well. Was that? Ask away. Nothing. Oh, hang on. Cheers. Whoa, what happened? Taylor. Another round. I think you've had plenty, Full Wolf. Maybe you should head on home. Who is this guy? You stupid lizard. I said, I presume give you're me some drink, for a good reason. or I'll have your head on a bike. Suit yourself. Damn. I would have beat his ass. If your allegiance lies with the Empire. We haven't much to discuss. Oh, is he the guy not who can the name of oblivion who can take you over? Hmm. You're not from around here. Imperial spy, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Why all the hatred for the Empire? They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land. And died for it. 
I lost my own daughter to the Imperial dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. It is such a weird thing to hear when you know that they came from Admora. Like, they weren't originally even from Skyrim, huh? Okay. What happened to your daughter? Lilia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago. When the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim, I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog, and, and left her body to rot. This year to get Jesus Christ. Don't worry, and that's time will come why I can won't walk away from here. Easy. Until I every so single Imperial soldier anymore. joins her. And Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Damn, okay. Support Ulfric or die trying. There's nothing in between. Jesus, he's got personal stake in it. Hey, Talon, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Maybe some lighter conversation Welcome here? Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. Look, he's got a little hole in his butt for that. Oh God, I'm getting sleepy, dude. Oh God, I can't even see straight. Ooh. <laughs> How did you meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Yo, you need the In amulet! In Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent oh. our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Oh, I could find those for you, I guess. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think really? it was my place <laughs> to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. <laughs> Talon J just tells this to everybody who comes into the bar. Just like, ooh, yeah, maybe I, maybe this bold adventurer will be able to hit me up with three flawless amethysts. <laughs> Can you tell me about the wedding ring? Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the Hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. Man, the Hist, huh? Okay. You mentioned you serve special drinks. Did you mention that? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lachance which is a mixture oh, really? of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Huh. Second, Did everyone find out about white him? White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodelic brandy, flynn, and Sujama. Oh my god, they just mix together fucking everything. Wow, give me some of that. Fuck me up. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Flynn and Sujama? It's the best of both fucking worlds. Look at this. It restores only two points of hunger, though. That's pretty rough. <laughs> eh, I'll buy one. There we go. Okay, good enough. Jeez. I'll drink this and everyone in here will turn into goblins. Excuse me, I have other things to attend to. <laughs> All right. I also put hist inside of it. His sap. Mm. <laughs> hey, Kirava, I need I a room. I'm about to fucking pass out. Got the coin? You're welcome you here. Otherwise, hit the road. Please, I need a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Jesus, right that guy's way. at it again. Oh, thanks, Kirava. <laughs> Is it the fish? You want me to sleep in the side of this fish? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> if your allegiance lies she... with the oh, Empire, there she goes. Okay. we haven't much to discuss. There we are. I guess we don't have much to discuss then, friendo. There we go. Good. Oh, it's you. Man, can we get even sleepier me, than you? this? Earlier, I think I got really hungry when I was doing stuff in between. And, like, the screen turned red and shit. It was a little scary. Okay. Here Let we go. Let me know right. if there's anything else you need. I don't think so. Here, do you want to talk what about something? What can I get you? Me? 
Wine? What's the word around town? Rifton's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. Huh. Where can I learn more about magic? Head north to Winterhold. There's a college there. They teach magic. Most Nords don't care for them. Else you could go see the Jarl's wizard. Might be able to help you. I think that's the same line we heard before. Okay. Come back and see us again. Nothing in this chest. All right, I'm going to snooze it up big time. Let's go for... Ooh, 12 hours? No, let's go for... How about... Let's go for 17 hours. There we go. Just take a super snooze. Because we've been going all over the damn place. Hopefully we don't die of hunger in our sleep. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll eat some salmon steak or some shit like that when we get out of here. It's a shame that the, the special boozes don't seem to have a special effect. Or maybe I missed them. Let's pick up health. Health again, I think. And let's see, I also wrote down ahead of time what I would pick so we don't waste too much time. Right, okay. Let's get... Let's get enchanting over here. We'll level up our enchanting a bit. Because of course enchanting is just super duper useful. There we are. Good. And then, let's get... Oh, whoops. Oh, God. Can I still spend a point? Or what? I press tab. I wanted to get power bash. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. Good. So now we can actually make use of that shit. Oh, look. Here, I'm starving. Ah, uh, yeah, my screen is slightly of a pink hue. Okay, let's eat some food here. You know, the cliff racer, th I guess it does restore a large amount of stamina, but that's about it. Okay, let's eat salmon steak. Still famished, still hungry. A couple of these, satisfied, well fed. Okay, cool. We're good to go. Let's see, anything else up top here? Nightingales, fact or fiction of cross daggers. Look, this is just free to take? No, I'm stealing it. Okay, that's fine. Let's take this as well. Good. Okay. Let's check out these other rooms. Does this go outside? No, it does not. Mara smiles upon you. Talon J. I've checked with Mara Mal, and I'm certain an arrangement can be made to incorporate the traditional Argonian bonding ceremonies, should the need arise. Oh, that's really cool. It would be our pleasure to receive you at the temple, and to have Mara Mal perform a marriage ceremony between yourself and Kirava. But we'd request the appropriate tithe be made, as we previously discussed. Ah. <laughs> Even the temple in the city of Riften gotta get theirs. Whatever you decide, I wish you both the best of luck. And hope to see you here soon. Dinya Balu. Huh. Okay. And what is this? A dream of Sovngarde. I'll yoink that up as well. Yoinked. Anything here? Sleepy time bed. Talon J Welcome is here. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. Hey, dude. If I can interest you in one of our special Oh, shit. Drinks. Oh, God. I'm Let trying to, know. like, sneak into his secret room. Okay. Actually, let's let's do that. Let's sneak into this secret room. What do you got back here? There we go. Hey, whose room is this? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, man. All right. Gotcha. Okay. And this, can I actually get into the strong box here? I can. Still, oh, Shazmat. There we are. Good. And what have you got? Ooh, beautiful shit. Oh my god, I love it. What's in this? Eh, trash. Okay, cool, neat. <laughs> Let's head on out and down. We should check in with the guild, shouldn't we? Oh, wait, there's more people down here. Oh shit, do I not have another torch? Let's see, I may not. Yo, I don't. Ooh, I'm out of torches, that's Looking fine. for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Okay, maybe I can do that, Louie. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. 
Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Sounds easy enough. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Oh, okay. Why is Sibby in jail? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No god would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. Hmm. Why don't you go tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm just extremely comfortable I'll meet around you outside of town. jails. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. What's your problem? Anyone else? Should we talk to her? Aren't you Thieves Guild? I think I remember you. Yeah. What's your problem? Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. Welcome right? to the Bee and Bar, my lord. You a bit more. If I can interest you in one of what our special What is it with you and all these questions? Let me know. Very well. Ask away. Why can't we talk here? The walls have ears. And you're being tested, lad. We'll talk in the Ragged Flagon. Okay. How do I find the right way? If I have to hold your hand through everything, Maybe you aren't cut out for this kind of work. It's under your <laughs> feet, lad. Just follow the smell. Ugh. <laughs> oh no! Come back when you go. Yeah, I guess home. they do kind of live in the pissin', pissin' shit sound, don't they? The pissin' sit. <laughs> Good lord. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, Shazbot. Here we go. Good. Good. Is there good. something I can do for you? Yeah, it's kind of a far cry from the Need sort something. of practically lap of luxury that the other thieves guilds from the past games were in right oh my gosh yes welcome to the thieves guild of morrowind oh goodness we have our own corner clubs and and guild halls and everything wow just out here oh my gosh in our super secret zone in the library wow don't you love this you too can work as a uh, oh god what were they called the the hands of stendar or something like that <laughs> But, oh gosh, and we'll work for a higher, greater good doing our thieving work. We'll, we'll right some wrongs. Oh, perhaps you'd be interested in the Thieves' Guild of Cyrodiil. Oh my gosh, welcome to Daryloth Manor, a place of magnificence and beauty. Here in Skyrim, well come on down to where everyone's piss and shit flows. We're the Thieves' Guild, baby. Let's get down and dirty. Rub some piss and shit right in your eyes. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> What's up, Shotter? Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? What? <laughs> you work at the stables? Yes. Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day. But I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Oh, Shotter, dude, I heard about this really horny horse that's just, like, perfect for banging. All right, what kind of trouble are you in? I didn't even know he was in trouble. I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. What, do you want me to, like, beat the hell out of him? Tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to really? sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, ah. but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now, Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Jeez. I'll help you pay off your debt. Sorry, I wish I could help you. I'll help you pay off your debt, I guess. You will? Oh, thank you. Speak to Sapphire about Shader's death. She mixes or Shatter. All sorts of nasty people. Man, how does Working this even go? Fishery is tough. Let's do a quick save here. Some coin in my is she still in here at the Bee and Barb? Let's check in. There we are. Hey, what's up? Yeah, what's your problem? I wanted to talk about Shatter's debt. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Ooh. I'll just pay it off for him. You and I both know this is a setup. Drop the debt or answer to me. You and I both know this is a setup. Let's try that. I don't care. A deal's a deal. Ugh. All right, fine, I'll just pay it. Don't know why you'd help a stranger like that. But a septum's a septum. 
Don't care where it comes from. You can tell Shadra his debt's been paid. I hope we bump into each other again. <laughs> yeah, the thief skill. I can't remember how Go it goes. Do they Go end on. up turning over a new leaf or something? I forgot exactly what happened. To what happens toward the end of it. But, man, they're just, like, fucking over poor folks. <laughs> it's such a far cry from how I've things were. You. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Oh, great. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Damn. This guy traveled all this fucking way from Dawnstar just to... <laughs> just to spread a pamphlet around? Shit, he must have been paid a lot. Okay. Let's see. Where did what's his butt go to? Oh god. Oh, is that him over there? That looks like his outfit. Nope. That probably is his outfit though. All meat. Oh, is that him over there? Clean and free from rock joints. No, where the fuck did this dude go? Looking to stay alive. What the fuck? Where's this man gone? Let's see. Quests. Promises to keep? No, it's probably miscellaneous. Return to Shatter. Yeah, where are you, dude? Oh, he's outside. He's probably tending the stables or something. Alright, let's go say hello. We do need to hit up the Ragged Flagon, because it'll be such a boon to unlock fencing. Right? Okay, here we are. Wait, I know you. No, you don't! Let's see, how do these horses look? Do they look, um, like my old friend? Oh god, was that horse doing that noise or? Oh god, I'm going inside. <laughs> we might uh, have a test for our skill here. <laughs> Shatter, guess what? I paid off the debt. Any luck with Sapphire? You're no longer in debt with Sapphire. By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need Is he about to give me a fucking dragon me, claw? I don't need it anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> Man, after after Iverstead, I just expect any little favor that I do. Whoa, shit, Until oh my god. Time. Is this the Red Ruby Super Sapphire Ultimate 500 Dragon Claw? What? Limited it's edition? Walk, oh my dude. god. <laughs> well, you found the right place. Hey. Horse crush. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> What is your name, dude? Hofgreer Horse Got Crusher. That shoeing, so make it quick. How did you come to be known as Horse Crusher? Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. Damn. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Oh my Haven't god. Been since. Jesus, that is harsh. Jeez, I thought that he was just gonna say like, yeah, I got some huge fucking thighs. I'm always crushing these horses. I got the fucking Chun-Li thighs, baby. Oh, I'm big as hell. I'm crushing these horses when I ride them. <laughs> Must be dangerous living outside the walls. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. <laughs> Whatever you say, not I think there's me. a fucking dragon I'm out no there. Weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms in all of Skyrim. I bet you're wrong? What? Am I going to fight this man? Uh, I bet you're wrong. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I can beat you in a Jesus fist fight. Christ. You match the bet, <laughs> and we fight until one of us gives in. What's your entire purse how about another time <laughs> fuck it let's see can i beat this man up <laughs> let's see <laughs> sure i'll match your bet all right remember this is a clean fight no weapons no tricks and none of those fancy magic spells either here we go oh god come on let's see what you're made of get it <laughs> get him <laughs> take it fight back <laughs> That's your best, huh? Man, he's got a lot of health. Oh, oh fuck, how do I block? Oh, you can't. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Oh my god! He's gonna crush me like a horse! He's a horse crusher! And I'm the horse today! Ah, get the fuck out of my way! He's not so tough. Drive that snow back to the ground. 
Jesus! Can I heal? Oh God, is he gonna get mad because I just drew a sword? <laughs> is he gonna be like, what the fuck? There we go. You're making me angry. Ah! Ah! Lucky hit. Jeez! Fuck him! I'm healing up! I'm doing a fancy magic trick. He doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> I guess it's just as long as I don't Come strike on, him. So yeah. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Sven, are you placing bets uh. against me? Fuck, I mean, I guess Sven has seen me fight. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yo! I'll rip you in half. <laughs> oh my god! This guy's mad! I thought this was a good, clean, friendly fight! I am fighting back, Sven, you piece of shit! <laughs> okay, here we go. Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up! Listen to Sven! He's really talking yeah. some shit! Don't there we go. Let him get away with ah. this. Fuck! Hey! Fuck off, Sven! You're just hanging out here like a dingus! Jeez! This old bastard's gonna eat my fucking lunch! Come on, he's not so tough! Oh, fuck! Jesus! I'm gonna kill you! Jeez, he's gonna kill me! He wants to kill me! He's gonna crush me! Alright, I'm closing the door. Hang on. <laughs> I need to recoup here. You're making me angry. Uh oh. Don't let him get away with this. Okay. <laughs> taught you to fight. Keep yeah. Come on, he's ah. so tough. Fuck. Uh, my power yeah. fist! Uh. Shit, my power fist does like nothing. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on! Jesus, what did you call him? Uh. A snowback? Don't what the fuck? This. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on. All right. I'm gonna or am I? You like is that bug. me? Who? Who is the snowback? What the uh, fuck, Sven? Drive that snow back to the ground. <laughs> oh Come my on. god. Jesus Christ, Sven. Fuck. Jeez. All right. Don't let him get away uh. with this. All right. You won't get away go. from me. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're just gonna stand there and yeah. Let him get away with Okay. Uh, healing up again. Let's see. Can I actually use my fucking shield here and bash him? Is that okay? <laughs> Eat shit. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> ah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I can shield bash him. Okay. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Ugh. They should have had him say he's gonna crush you like a horse for real. <laughs> Don't let him get away with this. That snow back to the ground. Jesus, man, he's gonna fucking break me in two like fucking Bane. Uh. All right. Ugh. Fuck. God, no. You better fucking surrender. Whoa! Sven, get the fuck back. You're good as Woo. All right, we're getting him. <laughs> Woo! Let him get away with this. Okay. Okay. Son of a. You won't get away. Ah. There we go. I feel like it's more DPS to just like do a light smack. Ah. Fuck. Listen to him. Dude, he's gonna crush me. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Oh my god. I can't move. Sven, help! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, let's get healing potions. Oh, what the fuck? I'll let you. Oh, you're just gonna Good day, friend. Keeping well. Back. What? Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you what the fuck? The right Did it go out of combat because I almost died? Okay, let's go. Here we are. Okay, weird. I wasn't able to even hit him. Okay, let's try again. We can get him for sure. Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up. Get him. There we are. 
Fuck you, dude. I'll tear you to pieces. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. There we are. Man, this music is really nice for uh <laughs> beating the shit out of each other, huh? Okay. Eat shit, old man! Get away with this! Okay. You won't get away on in here. Whew. I think I am! Block him off, boys! I think you're bleeding. <laughs> Man, it was a great pick to get the shield bash, huh? Eat shit! There we go. Fuck! Jesus, do I gotta kill him or what? Alright. <laughs> Fuck me. I don't believe it. I guess you were right. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you aren't angry. <laughs> what a thing to say. Oh, oh, Horf Greer, Horse Crusher. I hope you aren't angry. I beat your fucking ass. Please don't crush me like a horse anymore. <laughs> Not at all. It's good to be put in your place once in a while. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets expensive. Yo, Skyrim is fucking weird. <laughs> People be wildin', all right. <laughs> what that the fuck? <laughs> Let's heal on up, cuz... Guess what? There's someone else outside who wants to uh, get in a fist fight. Walk, eh? well, you found the <laughs> Dude, you want to come outside? Cuz I bet <laughs> there's something else out here. <laughs> hey. Got horses that need shoeing. So well, make it okay. Quick. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> Let's head on out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that thing's gonna come screaming down here. Let's see. Huh? Yeah, he knows. He knows. Where is it? Oh God, where is it? Is it still out and around? I don't think it's screaming anymore. We might be in the clear. Oh shit, yo, did we drive it off? Holy butt, I think we drove it off. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, cool. Jesus, is there like a fist fight in every little town or what? What the fuck? Let's see, you know what? I forgot to check out the uh, the Khajiit caravan and see if they had any new shit I could buy. Let's see, Akari? Hey. So many refuse to talk. Take a look. Let's see what you got. Weapons. A sanctified iron sword. Sanctified. Look at that. Turn them dead. Huh. Okay. And this shit, Gauntlets of Alchemy, that ain't half bad. If only I had... Yeah, if only they weren't literally some of the heaviest armor in the game. <laughs> Dwarven Boots of Hauling. Unfortunately, I've already got pretty good boots for Frost Resist, don't I? Yep, what can you do? Anything else over here? A whole bunch of weird stuff. Man, it's expensive as hell. Okay, F it. Actually... Take a I look. can sell off. I have a few extra things, don't I? Or am I mistaken? Yeah, I've got this silver amethyst ring. I guess I'll dump it. Why not? Well, no, maybe I'll save it to enchant. Nah, because I'll probably, by the time... Yeah, by the time I get around to enchant again, we'll have more rings. Yeah, I'm selling it. There you go. Enjoy. May your road lead you to one sad. Thanks. Okay. Oh, somehow we avoided a dragon. I really heard it. Oh shit, was that it? Sven, did you see that? At the tree line? <laughs> Yo, I think I'm like tripping balls. I've, I've fought so many fucking random ass dragons that come just like staring down, screaming at me from out of the sky. Just like, fuck Sven, you see that? What was that happened to the sky? Do you hear a dragon? <laughs> Good lord, I'm gonna start having dreams of him and not like the cool Nervarine dreams where you're having dreams of like Tegather talking to you with his like hot bod. <laughs> no, freaky dreams of like dragons talking to you and stuff. Oh no! Oh god, these dragons are so scary! But kind of hot? <laughs> Alright, let's head on down to the Ratway, right? Let's see, let's track this. Locate Brynjolf at the Ragged Flagon. There we go. Down here. 
Okay, look. Yeah, there's a poop bucket right here. Damn. Whoop. There goes all the poop. Just follow your nose. Here we are. Down this way. I forget. How difficult was it to get in here? I always conflate it with the... I always conflate going to the Thieves Guild with going to... What's his butt down here? And Old Max on side out. Over here. Let's see. The rat way. Boom. Let's see. What have we got? Oh my god, it's scary as shit down here. Sven, I hope you're ready. There's some murderers or something. Oh god. Yo, what the fuck? What is that, Sven? What was that? Oh, it's Droth. Oh shit, are you an angry person? Yo, you are. Okay. Oh! Are they going after Sven? Yeah. <laughs> Get him, Sven! Okay. Boom! Freezy breath! You're making me angry. Fuck me, dude. Yo, my weapon is like whacked out. Eat shit, dude. Okay. Do your worst. There we are. Good. Got some AOE with that. Okay. What the fuck are you even doing in here, dude? You poop people? Oh, fuck. He's shooting me. Okay. Hey, Sven, are you taking care of business over there or what? Oh. Ooh. Shields up. There we go. Gonna kill you right on top of your poop bucket. Eat a butt. Look at that. Oh. Sven was doing his super head smash. Oh, what a bunch of angels. Coin purse. I'll take it. Okay. What did you have? Let's see. Hunan Black Skeever. Ooh, what a scary name. Steel Mace, Steel Shield. What's the value to weight? 13? Eh. I mean, I guess we could take it, right? I guess. Alright, we may as well, because who knows how much shit we'll find down here. Okay. Anything else around here? Can I take a torch? No, I really can't. Okay. I should maybe consider getting some light shit up magic, right? Maybe. Okay. Got a nice little bonfire. Alright. And what have you got? Amethyst, gold, and orcish bow. Hmm, I'll take it. Okay, fur armor as well. Here, Sven. Take some of this garbage for me, friendo. There we are. And I'm right let's behind do a you. Quick trade. What do you want me to carry? Just some trash. Fur armor, hide armor, regular steel shield. Okay, that'll do. Good. You lead, I'll follow. All right. And you can't actually take a lantern to hold, right? You can only ever hold. What do you call it? Torches. Is this the only pathway? Hmm. I guess so, yeah. Okay. Let's just smell our way there, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> I'll just smell. <laughs> okay, Skyrim, I'm ready to smell stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this. Oh, is this it? Oh my god, it worked. <gasps> Ooh, a secret trap. Okay. Is this part of the test? I think I've failed it. Ooh, there we are. You had to have a magic lockpick that could clip through itself. A gourd, which I guess I'll just eat on the spot. Yum. Here we are. Ooh, look at that. Is there some bastard down here? Why is this here? There's some like zombos or what? Look at all this junk down here. Gloves, more woodcutter axes. Who is bringing all this timber down into the fucking sewer zone? What? Who does this? Ooh, look at this. 
Okay. Seared slaughterfish, bread, garlic, a whole bunch of wood. Oh, yeah. Look at all this weird shit in this gigantic bowl. Okay. One gold. Great. Okay. Were these guys, like, prospective Thieves Guild members or what? They didn't even have, like, a note on them or anything. Oh, my God. It's a power skeever. Oh. Yeah. Dude, I'm getting a lot of use out of this. Oh, there's a man here! There's a fist man! There we are. Knock him into that fire. Don't die, Sven. Good job, I didn't die, Sven. Yeah, the power bash is fucking dope. Oh, I thought Sven died. <laughs> okay. Gloves of the Pugilist. Wow, that would have been good earlier. Ring of Recuperation? Oh, shit. Huh. Okay. And we'll eat that. Good, good, good. I don't think you can ever buff up your stamina regen right to where it's, at, it's as fast as having food in you, right? Because it's it's uh, multiplicative, whereas the food buff is additive of just one stamina per second at all times, right? So no matter how much stam regen you can you stack, you'll never have it that good. Okay, look at this. Some little bits of bullshit here. <laughs> yeah, yes, fan. It sure does smell bad. Look, I'm guessing this is just stink. We're just in a stink zone. Fuck, I can't see ass. All right, Sven, I'm taking the- <laughs> Good job, Sven! <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> All right. Oh. Ooh. Potent aversion to frost. And a head. Okay. We can cook something up, but we don't really need to, do we? Take some more mead. Pop this. Damn, I really cannot see shit. Let's do another quick save, because I have no idea how many dudes down here are going to want to rumble. Got some booze, a witch's cauldron, some sort of hoe, I think. Draft of health. Anything down this way? More timber. People are just bringing, like, timber down here to chop up and shit. It's the weirdest thing. Open door. Ah, look at this. Jeez. Looks right out of fucking Fable, huh? Give me your wings. Rip them right up. <laughs> fuck, are these people gonna wanna fuck with me as well? Alright. No! No! Oh shit. Sven, no! He fucked me up in three hits! Oh, what an a-hole. Alright, again. Let's do it. Get him with a super frost blast. Bring out our friend here. Good shit, Sven. Dude, the power bash is dope as shit! Ugh, look at me go! I feel like fucking Steve Rogers over here! Oh fuck! Oh, he's gonna get me! I don't feel like it anymore! Oh shit! Alright. Here we go. Good job, Sven. Give him what for. Here, I'm gonna equip my... Foos. Dunk! Oh shit! <laughs> Good. I need like a so because we're using like a metal shield. Whenever I bash him, I want it to, to sound almost comical. <laughs> Someone hit me up with a mod for uh, replacing every like one tenth of kills with a shield bash or something or staggers. One tenth of every time when you stagger someone with a, sh a power shield bash. Make it sound like you're smacking someone in the head with a frying pan. <laughs> Good lord. I love that shit. Let's go over here. And let's also quick save. Do I need healing? Probably. Yeah. Oh, I need food as well. Good thing we totally grabbed some up. Let's eat. Let's get fucked up. Mead, wine. Eat a bunch of bread. And let's get this slaughter fish in us. Good enough for now. Ah, beggar. 
Okay. I think we did read that in Oblivion. Let's take some gold. A spigot. Ooh, a little skeever friend. I'll take it. Rip its tail right off. My god. If only it actually did that, because they do... Well, do they have body part destruction for skeevers and shit? Certainly you can chop off people's heads, but I don't think you can dismember people, can you? Can you actually, like, rip off their arms? I don't think so. I think that's... They didn't really add that in until Fallout 4, right? Let's eat all this. That said, you know, isn't this supposed to be running on the Fallout 4 version of the engine, right? I think so, the special edition. Could be wrong, though. Could be very wrong about that. Okay, let's lower this. Make it easy. Is this a poop bucket right here? No, it's a stool of some sort. All right. Neat. Let's keep going in. Should I take this cheese? Sure. What's down here? Does this go to our friend? Oh. Expert lock. Gotcha. Okay, that was the one from earlier. Remember? No way to open it, either. Okay, good. Whew. Is this the place? Yep, the Ragged Flagon. Let's do a quick save just in case. Good lord. Were all these people, like, trying to join the Thieves' Guild or something? Or what were they even doing here? <laughs> were they, like, did we just kill a p bunch of poor fucking homeless people or what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Thieves' Guild in Skyrim is fucked up and dark. Good lord, they deserve to be down here with the piss and shit. Honestly. <laughs> Let's go this way. Hello. Give it up, Renyo. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. Yeah, Bryn. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Oh my god, I'm a that! Hey, bring If you're off. looking for conversation, the Well, well. Place. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. <laughs> you just made it sound like you, you were, though. <laughs> Don't know why I bothered. This place is a mess. Getting here was easy. I almost got killed! I almost got killed! No risk, no reward. That's the way it goes, so you better get used to it. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? <laughs> what a butthole. <laughs> deadbeats? What'd they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Yeah, we're just like the fucking... We're just the fucking mafia, aren't we? <laughs> we're the fucking mob. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Bursi Honeyhan. No! Kirava, no! Do this I was right, gonna marry her! I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How did you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Will I get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you oh need my any god, I'm one, of, I'm one marks, of their own. I'll be here. Get going. Nope, I'm hungry again. Gotta collect the debt. Any help with Bercy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. <laughs> wow, okay. Any tips about Kirava? Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, they're gonna get married. <laughs> he makes, he's like, yeah, I heard that they were fucking. When he apparently Talon has been asking everyone who walks into the inn, oh, please, won't you help me get married to Kirava? I need three flawless amethysts to propose. <laughs> it's not a big secret. <laughs> What's Helga's story? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Damn, you want me to draw a mustache on it? <laughs> I can do that. You fucking I'll bet. I'll be here when you're done. I'll put a goatee on I'm it just busy. like yours. Don't you have something to do? Hey, Vex. I'm not here to hold your hand. Oh my god. Figure this one out for yourself. 
If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. Tanilia. Vekel and me, we have a thing going. So I recommend you keep your hands off the merchandise. Yo, okay. A warning, timely offer. There's some just horker loaf here. You'd better Vekel. have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. And he even looks like <laughs> he's got like the same mustache as uh Fucking what's his name? Got a lot of nerve coming down here. Marty Bucco People from Is it Marty Bucco from right um way. from Sopranos? The the cook guy, the chef dude. He's got like a a mustache similar trouble, to his. Or there's gonna he even be kinda trouble. has a similar look, but I mostly the mustache. Stay here long if I were you. Alright, Veckel the man. There's a reason the city guard doesn't come down here, you know. Is it because it smells like shit? <laughs> Can you share anything about the Thieves Guild? I don't know you. So we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the job Brynjolf gave you? Then we can talk. Okay, fair enough. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Ugh, more of this Argonian bloodline. Does this for real actually have blood in it? Is this for real going to help you if you're a vampire? Huh. Let's see. Is there anything actually good here for eating? Oh, yeah. This cooked beef. Maybe I should take some. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's cheap as hell, isn't it? Yeah, value of nine. Yeah, rabbit haunch is super efficient for buying. Let's buy some. There we go. Good. Do you buy any of my other dumb shit? No, you don't. Fair enough. <laughs> it, is, next time. it is dumb shit. Hey, Last Dirge. person who made trouble for Veckel ended up with a smashed head. Oh, God. How did don't that make happen? make trouble, or else I'll ask Dirge to... Walk you out. Oh, smash Beckle my head. like strangers snooping around the flagon. <laughs> Yo, they're like double teaming me here. <laughs> Speak, elf. There's two things to do with the flagon. Spend coin and then get out. Why do they call you Dirge? They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Wait, is that what that means? No way, that name would scare anyone. I think it's hilarious. You got a problem? Forget I mentioned it. <laughs> no way, that name would scare- Too bad I can't, like, <laughs> I would be all for, like, genuinely start shaking my boots rather than playing, like, either a sarcastic person or, like, a tough guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> I would I would love to be like, Wow, fuck, Dirge, I'm scared as hell. You're so cool with your chops. <laughs> no way, that name would scare anyone. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. You're pretty smart. Hey, here. Have one on the house. Yeah, Blackbriar Mead. <laughs> hey, why don't you remind me? Why do they call you Dirge? <laughs> I already told you. They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Oh, God, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Vex, do we already try to talk you to advice? you? need yeah. advice? Talk to Brynjolf. Do we already speak with everyone? You. We may have done- No, Stay out not of this trouble, ball, dude. Or there's gonna be trouble. Delvin. Come back later, and I may have some work for you. Can you train me to sneak? Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. Huh, okay. Not that we really need sneak. I mean, sneak's probably one of the if easier you're looking ones, right? For conversation, you can just do it AFK. The place. Oh, huh. who the hell are you? I suppose I can work with your face. After all, this oh. mother can always choose the finest clay. You're here? With the piss and shit? Wow, is that how you do it? You really just for real rub piss and shit on my face and it works? What are you talking about? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. Wow. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? No, come on. I spent like 40 fucking minutes of character creation for this shit. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Are you sure you know what you're doing? I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned You're a my ragged art beggar? from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. Whoa. I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I counted the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my I've clients. I've never heard of Notohogra. And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. Hmm. It'd be cool if you could find them again in um, future games, right? Because I'm sure in Elder Scrolls 6, they'll have a way to recustomize your character. It'd be cool if they built out 
an actual story instead of it feeling kind of shoehorned, right? I understand you know how to... Nah, fuck that. I don't want to do it. I have not always been a ragged beggar. I'm beautiful, after all. Wow. Masters of the art Unless maybe of you, you get extra options in talking to her. Maybe she has additional customization options. If you're options. looking for conversation, kind of neat. the flagon isn't the place. All right. Well, holy butt. I suppose when next we come back, we will be off on our way to accomplish this first mission because I would love to seriously unlock the fencing capability. I think it'll come in major, major, super duper ultra handy, right? For all the stuff that I steal and we can pick up those wild ass Steve skill quests because as we're traveling around Skyrim, if we just happen to have one in a town that we're visiting, we can just knock it up real quick, real, real easy. Okay, great. Man, you know what? I do love how this place upgrades. That said, I love how it, it eventually all upgrades as you're doing stuff. And I love, right now even, these ropes. They look so cool, right? Were these ropes even in the, the core game or was this added with um, one of the mods that changes ropes and stuff? I'm not sure. But either way, I love how all these alcoves eventually get filled with stuff. It's so cool. Are there other guilds that do that? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think, it, at least not to this level. I think this is the most intense that it occurs. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. And what should we read this time? But perhaps, well, I have no fucking clue, friend. Let me just check my little dumb list here. You can hear me flipping through pages. Let's see. Oh, how about this? Alduin is real. Sort of going hand in hand with the previous book that we just read. See, Alduin is real. Oh my gosh. Pardon me, I'm going to take a quick drink here in real life. Okay. Alduin is real. And he... <laughs> he ain't Akatosh. <laughs> he ain't Akatosh? By Thromgar Ironhead. Proud Nord. Oh, really? It, it really is. He ain't Akatosh. <laughs> okay. Oh, are we? do we need to read this with like a heavy Nord accent? <laughs> Fuck me. As my da used to say, Imperials are idiots. That is why I'm writing this book. I ain't never wrote a book before, and I do not reckon to write one again. But sometimes... A man must do what a man must do, and I must do, and what I must do is set the record straight about the god called Akatosh and the dragon called Halduin. They ain't the same thing, no matter what the damn Imperials might say, or how they might wish it to be so. My da was never one for the gods, but my ma was. She worshipped the divines, and taught me lots of things. So, I know a thing or two about Akatosh, just as much as any Imperial. I know he was the first of all the gods to take shape in the beginning place, and I know he has the shape of a dragon. My da even told me the story of Martin Septum and the things what happened when the gates to oblivion opened. <laughs> Septum turned into the spirit of Hakatosh and killed Merun's Dagon. Now, I don't know about you, but any dragon that fights the Prince of Destruction is okay by me. Now, I hope you understand the problem. Hakatosh is good. Everyone from Nord to Imperial knows that. But Alduin, he ain't good. He's the opposite of good. <laughs> that Alduin is evil through and through. So you see, Akatosh and Alduin can't be one and the same. Growing up as a lad in Skyrim, I heard all the stories told to me by my da, who was told by his da, who was told by his da and so on. And one of these stories was about Alduin. But, but, <laughs> but, but, but see, 
He was not Hakatosh. He was another dragon, and a real one at that. Akatosh is some kind of spirit dragon, I think, when he bothers to be a dragon at all, and not a god living in some kind of god place like Oblivion. But Alduin is a real dragon, with flesh and teeth, and a mean streak longer than the White River. And there was a time when Alduin tried to rule over all of Skyrim, and his other dragons. In the end, it took some mighty strong heroes to finally kill Alduin and be done with his whole sorry story. So I got to ask, does that sound like Akatosh to you? No, friend, no it do not. And so I, Thromgar Ironhead, do firmly say, with the utmost conviction, that Alduin is real, and he ain't Akatosh. <laughs> Incredible, honestly, and it speaks. It speaks to like you know, although it's it's very played for laughs. The moral of it is, like, although someone is uneducated, doesn't mean that they're uninformed, right? It doesn't mean that they're necessarily like a not a. A person who knows shit or is unwise, it's just that they haven't been properly schooled or whatever, so you shouldn't discount what they have to say, right? Yeah. Because the last book was written like, Oh yes, I'm the Professor Super Nerd 500 of Wayrest in the hills of Britonia, and I have to say, fuck those dragons and shit. <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> Good lord. Ah. Yeah, I, I do appreciate it, right? And it also goes to show how, like, I don't know, <laughs> if you want to read into it, like how, fuck, the, the Empire seems to play fucking favorites, right? They, uh, they don't seem to give mu as much money or whatever toward, like, the Nords, or fuck, even it, we saw in, in Morrowind, there's a lot of fucking suffering going on where the Empire was, like, being pretty slow to react to shit or reacting in shitty ways, right? It's um it's all part of uh, a bigger picture, I guess, right? Anyway, when next we come back, we'll continue on with these fun Thieves Guild adventures, probably doing some terrible shit. Cuz you know what? This has totally taken me by surprise. I forgot how like kind of ruthless they were. Like I knew for sure that the Thieves Guild in Oblivion and Morrowind. I'm pretty sure even a few folks pointed out that that was some of the stuff that they liked about those thieves guilds, is that they're a bit more friendly and you know, they um, they have the whole Robin Hood sort of analogy or allegory, which is very fun and it it's very suitable and shit. But here you you just kind of feel like fucking mafioso, <laughs> at least so far. I totally forget how it it does take a turn, but I forgot exactly how that turn is played. Right? Okay, when next we come back more Thieves Guild. Until next time, please take care of each other.